This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Ulysses by James Joyce. Chapter 13, Part 4. Recorded by Bob Foster, Montreal, March 2006. Wonder how is she feeling in that region? Shame all put on before third person. More put out about a hole in her stocking. Molly, her under jaw stuck out head back, about the farmer in the riding boots and spurs at the horse show. And when the painters were in Lombard Street West, fine voice that fellow had. How Juglini began. Smell that I did, like flowers. It was, too. Violets. Came from the turpentine, probably, in the paint. Make their own use of everything. Same time doing it, scraped her slipper on the floor so they wouldn't hear. But lots of them can't kick the beam, I think. Keep that thing up for hours. Kind of a general all round over me and half down my back. Wait. Hmm. Hmm. Yes, that's her perfume. Why, she waved her hand. I leave you this to think of me when I'm far away on the pillow. What is it? Heliotrope? No. Hyacinth? Hmm. Roses, I think. She'd like scent of that kind. Sweet and cheap. Soon sour. Why, Molly likes apoponax. Suits her with a little jessamine mixed. Her high notes and her low notes. At the, at the dance night she met him. Dance of the hours. Heat brought it out. She was wearing her black, and it had the perfume of the time before. Good conductor, is it? Or bad? Light, too. Suppose there's some connection. For instance, if you go into a cellar where it's dark. Mysterious thing, too. Why did I smell it only now? Took its time in coming like herself, slow but sure. Suppose it's ever so many millions of tiny grains blown across. Yes, it is, because those Spice Islands, Singalese, this morning, smell them leagues off. Tell you what it is. It's like a fine veil. Or web they have all over the skin, fine like what? do you call it gossamer and, and and they're always spinning it out of him fine as anything rainbow colors without knowing it clings to everything she takes off vamp of her stockings warm shoe stays drawers little kick taking them off bye be till next time bye bye till next time also the cat likes to sniff in her shift on the bed know her smell in a thousand bath water too reminds me of strawberries and cream wonder where it is really there or the armpits are under the neck because you get it out of all holes and corners hyacinth perfume made of oil or ether or something muskrat bag under their tails one grain pour off odor for years dogs at each other behind good evening evening how do you sniff hm hm very well thank you Animals go by that, yes, now look at it that way. We're the same. Some women, for instance, warn you off when they have their period. Come near, then get a hogo. You could hang your hat on. Like what? Potted herrings gone stale, or boof, please keep off the grass. Perhaps they get a man smell off us. What, though? Cigary, cigary gloves. Long John had on his desk the other breath. What you eat and drink gives that. No, man smell, I mean. Must be connected with that because priests that are supposed to be are different. Women buzz around it like flies around treacle. Railed off the altar, get on to it at any cost. The tree of forbidden priest. Oh, father, will you let me be the first to? That diffuses itself all over, all through the body, permeates. Source of life. And it's extremely curious to smell celery sauce. Let me. Mr. Bloom inserted his nose. Hmm. Into the. Hmm. Opening of his waistcoat. Almonds or. No. Lemons it is. Ah, no. That, that's the soap. Oh, by the by, that lotion. I knew there was something on my mind. Never went back and the soap not paid. Dislike carrying bottles like that hag this morning. Hines might have paid me that three shillings. I couldn't mention Meagers just to remind him. Still, if he works that paragraph, two and nine, bad opinion of me he'll have. Call tomorrow. How much do I owe you? Three and nine? Two and nine, sir? Ah, 
Might stop him giving credit another time. Lose your customers that way. Pubs do. Fellow run up a bill on the slate and then slinking round the back streets into somewhere else. Here's this nobleman passed before. Blown in from the bay. Just went as far as turn back. Always at home at dinner time. Looks mangled out and had a good tuck in. Enjoying nature now. Grace after meals. After supper walk a mile. Sure he has a small bank balance somewhere. Government sit. Walk after him. Now make him awkward like these newsboys me today. Still, you learn something. See ourselves as others see us. So long as women don't mock what matter. That's the way to find out. Ask yourself, who is he now? The mystery man on the beach. Prize titbit story by Leopold Bloom. Payment at the rate of one guinea per column. And that fellow today at the graveside in the brown Macintosh. Corns on his kismet, however. Healthy, perhaps. Absorb all the... Whistle brings rain, they say. Must be some somewhere. Salt in the Ormond damp. The body feels the atmosphere. Old Betty's joints are on the rack. Mother Shipton's prophecy, that is, about ships around they fly in the twinkling. No, signs of rain it is. The royal reader and distant hills seem coming th nigh. Health. Bailey light. Two, four, six, eight, nine. C has to change or they might think it a house. Wreckers. Grace Darling. People afraid of the dark. Also glow worms, cyclists, lighting up time, jewels, diamonds, flash better. Light is a kind of reassuring. Not going to hurt you. Better now, of course, than long ago. Country roads run you through the small guts for nothing. Still two types there are. You bob against scowl or smile. Pardon? Not at all. Best time to spray plants too in the shade after the sun. Some light still. Red rays are longest. Roy Begive Vance taught us red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. A star I see. Venus? Can't tell yet. Two, when three it's night. Were those night clouds there all the time? Looks like a phantom ship. No, wait. Trees, are they? An optical illusion. Mirage. Land of the setting sun, this. Home rule sun setting in the southeast. My native land. Good night. Dew falling. Bad for you, dear, to sit on that stone. Brings on white fluxions. Never have little baby then, lest he was big strong fight his way up through. Might get piles myself. Sticks too, like a summer cold, sore on the mouth. Cut with grass or paper, worst friction of the position. Like to be that rock she sat on. Oh, sweet little, you don't know how nice you looked. I begin to like them at that age. Green apples, grab at all that offer. Suppose it's the only time we cross legs, seated. Also the library today, those girl graduates. Happy chairs under them, but it's the evening influence. They feel all that open like flowers, know their hours, some flowers, Jerusalem artichokes and ballrooms, chandeliers, avenues under the lamps, nightstock in Matt Dillon's garden where I kissed her shoulder. Wish I had a full-length oil painting of her then. June that was, too, I wooed. The year returns. History repeats itself. Ye crags and peaks, I'm with you once again. Life, love, voyage around your own little world. And now... Sad about her lame, of course, but must be on your guard not to feel too much pity. They take advantage. All quiet on Howth now, the distant hills seem, where we, the rhododendrons. I am a fool, perhaps. He gets the plums and I the plum stones. Where I come in, all that old hill has seen. Names change, that's all. Lovers, yum yum. Tired I feel now. Oh, will I get up? Oh, wait. Drained all the manhood out of me, little wretch. She kissed me. My youth, never again. Only once it comes, or hers. Take the train there tomorrow. No, nope. returning not the same. Like kids, your second visit to a house. The new I want. Nothing new under the sun. Care of P. O. Dolphin's barn. Are you not happy in your... Naughty, darling. At Dolphin's barn, charades in Luke Doyle's house. Matt Dillon and his bevy of daughters. Tiny, eighty, Floey, Mamie, Louie, Hetty, Molly, too. Eighty-seven, that was. Year before we... 
And the old major partial to his drop of spirits, curious she an only child, I an only child, so it returns. Think you're escaping and run into yourself, longest way round is the shortest way home, and just when he and she, circus horse walking in a ring, rip them winkle we played, rip, tear in Henny Doyle's overcoat, van, bread van delivering, winkle cockles and periwinkles then i did rip van winkle coming back she leaned on the sideboard watching moorish eyes twenty years asleep in sleepy hollow all changed forgotten the younger old his gun rusty from the dew bah what is that flying about swallow bat probably thinks i'm a tree so blind have birds no smell metempsychosis they believed you could be changed into a tree from grief. Weeping Willow. Bah! There he goes. Funny little beggar. Wonder where he lives. Belfry up there, very likely, hanging by his heels in the odor of sanctity. Bell scared him out, I suppose. Mass seems to be over. Could hear them all at it. Pray for us, and pray for us, and pray for us. Good idea, the repetition. Same thing with ads. Buy from us, and buy from us, yes. There's the light in the priest's house, their frugal meal. Remember about the mistake in the valuation when I was in Tom's. Twenty-eight it is, two houses they have. Gabriel Conroy's brother is curate. Bah! Again! Wonder why they come out at night like mice. They're a mixed breed. Birds are like hopping mice. What frightens them, light or noise? Better sit still. An instinct, like the bird in troth, got water out of the end of a jar by throwing in pebbles. Like a little man in a cloak he is, with tiny hands, weeny bones, almost see them shimmering, kind of a bluey white. Colors depend on the light you see. Stare at the sun, for example, like the eagle, then look at a shoe, see a blotch, blob, yellowish. Wants to stamp his trademark on everything. Instance, that cat this morning on the staircase. Color of brown turf. Say you never see them with three colors. Not true. That half tabby white tortoise shell in the city arms with a letter M on her forehead. Body, fifty different colors. Health, a while ago amethyst. Glass flashing. That's how that wise man. What's his name with the burning glass? Then the heather goes on fire. It can't be tourists' matches. What? Perhaps the sticks dry rub together in the wind and light, or broken bottles in the furs act as a burning glass in the sun. Archimedes, I have it. My memory's not so bad. Bah! Who knows what they're always flying for? Insects? That bee last week got into the room playing with his shadow on the ceiling. Might be the one bit me. Come back to see. Birds, too, never find out what they say like our small talk, and says she, and says he, nerve. They have to fly over the ocean and back. A lot must be killed in storms, telegraph wires. Dreadful life sailors have, too. Big brutes of ocean-going steamers floundering along in the dark, lowing out like sea cows. Fa a bola. Out of that, bloody curse to you. Others in vessels, bit of a handkerchief sail. Pitched about like snuff at a wake when the stormy winds do blow. Married, too, sometimes away for years at the ends of the earth somewhere. No ends, really, because it's round. Wife in every port, they say. She has a good job if she minds it till Johnny comes marching home again, if ever he does. Smelling the tail end of ports. How can they like the sea? Yet they do. The anchors wade off he sails with a scapular or metal on him for luck. Well, and the Teflon, no, what's this they call it, poor Papa's father had on his door to touch, that brought us out of the land of Egypt and into the house of bondage. Something in all those superstitions, because when you go out, never know what dangers. Hanging on to a plank or a stride of a beam for grim life, life built round, round him, gulping salt water, and that's the last of his nibs, till the sharks catch hold of him. Do fish ever get seasick? Then you have a beautiful calm without a cloud, smooth sea, placid crew and cargo in smithereens, Davy Jones' locker, moon looking down, not my fault, old cockalorum. A lost long candle wandered up the sky from Mirus Bazaar in search of funds for Mercer's hospital, 
and broke, drooping, and shed a cluster of violet but one white stars. They floated, fell, they faded, the shepherd's hour, the hour of holding, hour of tryst, from house to house giving his ever-welcome double-knock, went the nine o'clock postman, the glow-worm's lamp at his belt gleaming here and there through the laurel hedges, and among the five young trees a hoisted lint-stock lit the lamp at Leahy's terrace. By screens of lighted windows, by equal gardens, a shrill voice went crying, wailing, evening telegraph, stop press edition, result of the gold cup brace, and from the door of Dignam's house a boy ran out and called, twittering the black flew here, the bat flew here, flew there, far out over the sands the coming surf crept, gray, health settled for slumber, tired of long days, and of yum-yum rhododendrons, he was old, and felt gladly the night breeze lift, ruffle his fell of ferns, he lay but opened a red eye, unsleeping, deep and slowly breathing, slumberous but awake, and far on Kish Bank the anchored lightship twinkled, winked at Mr. Bloom. Life, those chaps out there must have, stuck in the same spot, Irish lights, board, pennants for their sins, coastguards too, rockets, and breeches, boy, and lifeboat. Day we went out for the pleasure cruise and the errands king, throwing them the sack of old papers, bears in the zoo, filthy trip, drunkards out to take up their livers, drunkards out to shake up their livers, puking overboard to feed the herrings, nausea, and the women, fear of God in their faces, Millie, no sign of funk, her blue scarf loose, laughing, don't know what death is at that age, and then their stomachs clean, but being lost they fear. When we hid behind the tree at Crumlin, I didn't want to. Mama, Mama! Babes in the wood, frightening them with masks, too, throwing them up in the air to catch them. I'll murder you. Is it only half fun? Or children playing battle? Whole earnest. How can people aim guns at each other? Sometimes they go off. Poor kids. Only troubles. Wildfire and nettle rash. Calomel purge I got her for that, after getting better asleep with Molly. Very same teeth she has. What do they love? Another themselves? But the morning she chased her with the umbrella, perhaps so as not to hurt. I felt her pulse. Ticking. Little hand it was. Now big. Dear as Papley. All that the hand says when you touch. Love to count my waistcoat, waistcoat buttons. Her first days, I remember, made me laugh to see. Little paps to begin with. Left one is more sensitive, I think. Mine, too, near the heart, patting themselves out if fat is in fashion. Her growing pains at night, calling, wakening me. Frightened she was when her nature came on her first. Poor child, strange moment for the mother, too, brings back her girlhood. Gibraltar, looking from Buena Vista. O'Hara's tower, the seabird screaming, old Barbary ape that gobbled all his family. Sundown, gunfire for the men to cross the lines, looking out over the sea, she told me. Evening like this, but clear, no clouds. I always thought I'd marry a lord or a gentleman with a private yacht. Buenas noches, senorita. El hombre ama la muchacha hermosa. Why me? Because you were so foreign from the others. Better not stick here all night like a limpet. This weather makes you dull. Must be getting on for nine by the light. Go home. Too late for Leah Lily of Killarney. No, might be still up. Call to the hospital to see. Hope she's over. Long day I've had. Martha, the bath, funeral, house of keys, museum with those goddesses, Daedalus' song, then that baller and Barney Kiernan's. Got my own back there. Drunken ranters. What I said about his God made him wince. Mistake to hit back? N or? No. Ought to go home and laugh at themselves. Always want to be swilling in company. Afraid to be alone like a child of two. Suppose he hit me. Look at it other way around. Not so bad, then. Perhaps not to hurt, he meant. Three cheers for Israel. Three cheers for the sister-in-law he hawked about. Three fangs in her mouth. Same style of beauty. Particularly nice old party for a cup of tea. 
The sister of the wife of the wild man of Borneo has just come to town. Imagine that, in the early morning at close range, every one to his taste, as Morris said when he kissed the cow. But Dignam's put the boots on it. Houses of mourning so depressing because you never know. Anyhow she wants the money. Must call to those Scottish widows, as I promised. Strange name. Takes it for granted when we're going to pop off first. That widow on Monday was it outside Kramer's that looked at me, buried the poor husband but progressing favorably on the premium. Her widow's might fell well. What do you expect her to do? Must wheedle her way along. Widower I hate to see. Look so forlorn. Poor man's O'Connor wife and five children poisoned by mussels here. The sewage. Hopeless. Some good matronly woman in a pork pie hat to mother him. Take him in a tow, platter face, and a large apron, ladies' grey flannelette bloomers, three shillings a pair, astonishing bargain, plain and loved, loved for ever, they say, ugly, no woman thinks she is, love, lie and be handsome for tomorrow we die, see him sometimes walking about trying to find out who played the trick, you, p, up, fate that is, he, not me, also a shop, often noticed. Curse seems to dog it. Dreamt last night? Wait. Something confused. She had red slippers on. Turkish. Wore the breeches. Suppose she does. Would I like her in pajamas? Damned hard to answer. Nanetti's gone. Mail boat. Near Hollyhead by now. Must nail that ad of keys. Work Hines and Crawford. Petticoats for Molly. She has something to put in them. What's that? might be honey. Mr. Bloom stooped and turned over a piece of paper on the strand. He brought it near his eyes and peered. Letter? No, can't read. Better go. Better. I'm tired to move. Page of an old copy book. All those holes and pebbles. Who could count them? Never know what you find. Bottle with the story of a treasure in it thrown from a wreck. Parcels, post. Children always want to throw things in the sea. Trust? Bread cast on the waters. What's this? Bit of stick. Oh, exhausted, that female has me. Not so young now. Will she come here tomorrow? Wait for her somewhere forever. Must come back. Murder murderers do. Will I? Mr. Bloom, with his stick, gently vexed the thick sand at his foot. Write a message for her. Might remain. What? I... Some flat-foot tramp on it in the morning. Useless. Washed away. Tide comes in here a pool near her foot. Bend. See my face there. Dark mirror. Breathe on it. Stirs. All these rocks with lines and scars and letters. Oh, those transparent. Besides, they don't know. What is the meaning of that other world? I called you naughty boy because I do not like. Am. A. M. A. No room. Let it go. Mr. Bloom effaced the letters with his slow boot. Hopeless thing, sand. Nothing grows in it. All fades. No fear of big vessels coming up here, except Guinness's barges, round the kish in eighty days, done half by design. He flung his wooden pin away. The stick fell in silted sand, stuck. Now if you were trying to do that for a week on end, you couldn't chance. We'll never meet again, but it was lovely. Goodbye, dear. Thanks. Made me feel so young. Oh, short snooze now, if I had. Must be near nine. Liverpool boat long gone. Not even the smoke. And she can do the other. Did, too. And Belfast. I won't go. Race there. Race back to Ennis. Let him. Just close my eyes a moment. Won't sleep, though. Half dream. It never comes the same bat again. No harm in him. Just a few. Oh, sweetie, all your little girl white up I saw a dirty brace girdle made me do love sticky. We two naughty grace. Darling, she him half past the bed met him pike hoses. Frillies for Raoul to perfume your wife. Black hair. Heave under imbon. Signorita. Young eyes. Mulvey. Plump years. Dreams. Return tail. End. Agendath. Swoony, lovey, showed me her next. 
year in drawers, return next in her next her next. A bat flew here, there, here, far in the grey a bell chimed. Mr. Bloom, with open mouth, his left boot sanded sideways, leaned, breathed, just for a few. Cuckoo, cuckoo, cuckoo. The clock on the mantelpiece in the priest's house cooed where Oak, Canon O'Hanlon, and Father Conroy and the Reverend John Hughes, S.J., were taking tea and soda bread and butter and fried mutton chops with ketchup and talking about cuckoo, 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 because it was a little canary bird bird that came out of its little house to tell the time that Gertie McDowell noticed the time she was there because she was as quick as anything about a thing like that was Gertie McDowell and she noticed at once that that foreign gentleman that was sitting on the rocks looking was cuckoo 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 and that's the end of chapter 13 part 4 of Ulysses by James Joyce